So now let me well, let me go back and get my brain back on here. Right. I know I have an agenda about saying stuff. Okay. Right. Okay. So we've got the thing going now. Let's um, let me just quit out of here and restart the VPP image. This is just so that it has no, uh, you know, no IP fib, no, no nothing. Now I'm going to this time around go in through the API, the API test tool, VP API test. And the reason for doing that is this is the way the control plane in, in excruciating detail actually programs the things, the things brain. The goals here are to show you, you know, yeah, there's an API test tool and all that, but it's also to show the API trace, capture, replay, and pretty print, which you can use to then make scripts out of, uh, out of the, uh, the binary APIs. When implementing features, the ask is that people also implement APIs to control them rather than just debug CLI. In fact, um, if, I, I don't see Ed around anywhere, but if he were here, he would have slapped me for using the debug CLI at all. Point with the debug CLI is it's actually the, um, the easiest way to go get, uh, you know, to go configure a feature when you're building it. My process goes like this when building uh, debug, C you know, when building a feature, is I'll lay out the data plane and lay out the data structures. Then I'll go through and build adequate debug CLI to configure it at the level of detail it needs. I do that in a rather stylized way where I'll have, you know, some command parsing stuff that just gets the, you know, gets the user input. I'll call a routine. That routine is actually in charge of saying, you know, here's what you need to know, pal. Go make it so, Mr. Data. And what you then do is you layer a binary API on top of that action function so that the debug CLI and the actual binary API message handler uh, are really running over the same exact bits at, at the base of it. The debug CLI is a good way to quickly make changes, say, oh yeah, well, I really should be able to specify thus and such. And I don't throw the debug CLI away because it's, use, you know, it's useful in a variety of circumstances, but the goal is to, produce, is to produce data plane features and control plane APIs at the same time rather than saying, oh yeah, well the only way to configure that is debug CLI. That's a poem I don't want to be hearing people uh, reciting very often. So in fact, let's go through and, let's go through and do that. Now, a... So if you guys wanted to restart your forwarders again, uh, we should be good. Um, that VP API test. Um, one thing to say is this guy has a help has a help facility which will show you really kind of the epic catalog of random stuff he, the, uh, the the binary APIs know how to do, and it varies from control plane ish things, uh, adding graph arcs dynamically to bridge domains, to running up the classifier. Each one of these is a little bit of a project to look through, and this is probably the wrong day and the wrong time to look through them, but at any rate, this is the, um, the epic catalog of the, of the binary APIs that are available. So uh, for each one of these, we can get more help. We say um, the, one, the one we're about to use is the, please go set an IP, IP address on this interface. So if we say uh, help, and then software interface add Dell address, if I happen to remember correctly, and control widget button V on the Mac, you'll see a little bit of contextual help for that guy. And it, it's fairly straightforward. This guy, um, again, has built up a model of the interface table by asking the data plane, um, please tell me about all of your uh, please tell me about all of your interfaces. Secretly at the API level, the interfaces are represented by small integers, uh, for example, five. I'll bet you if we do, uh, uh, whoop. Okay, you'll see that you know, here the packet, in, the packet generator interfaces are, have disappeared, and the one, the one real guy we want to talk to is Gigabit Ethernet 080. Notice what we've done is we've asked the data plane, tell me about your interfaces. He's told us that that, that one interesting one has software IF index 5. As we get deeper into the code, you'll realize that that's, that's a, an interface handle. Hardware interfaces also have indices. But typically, when configuring, you're dealing with soft, you know with software concept because, again, we do uh, a multiplicity of VLAN sub interface types and so on and so forth and tunnel interface types. So.
filtered. It, they, you know, we, we filtered it. And why is it different? Because they're different, you know, they're different pieces of code. Again, debug CLI is for the developer's convenience. Go look. Okay, so at any rate, let's get back to the main thread, which is base. And because people don't really want to type five all the time, uh, this guy will take an interface name, and you want to say, um, okay, let's. What we really want to say is go pick the same address you had a minute ago, which was how about. Uh, I think it was mumble.3, wasn't it? Yeah, there we go. Mumble.3, I saw it a second ago. Okay. Slash 24. Oh, what do you mean? Um, oh, well, let's just do the... Oh, 080, yeah, I can't type as, sorry. And uh, um, that's faster to type and less error prone. Twenty eight dot one, twenty eight dot three. So. Okay, and now if we do exec, is actually a cut through from the API test tool to the debug CLI exec. You know, and you'll see, you know, bang, it actually did provision it over there. Now, let's use, you know, uh, another one of the API commands, SW interface set flags. I can type that faster, admin up. And, and you'll see, you know, bang, the interface is up. Now, the next cute thing we might want to do is to say exec... Um, okay, what I just did was to take from, from the beginning of time the API trace I, the API trace I've been collecting and save it off to a file. Uh, trace. And this will tell you, this will basically show you uh, exactly what we've done. Now you notice that the API, the API test tool had itself a little, a little interface table. What he's doing is he's basically saying through the APIs, hey, I want you to dump all the software uh, indices, um, you know, whose names start with Ether, with LO, with VXLAN, with LTBB3. Um, the, the, the test tool wants to collect uh, API interface. Control ping is used for synchronization. In other words, it's a message that just goes into the API rings and come, comes back. A cute use of this is I want to blast 20,000 routes at the thing. And, you know, you, you'll be replying to them eventually, but I want a good way of synchronizing. So I'll just blast along sending those, send a control ping, and then synchronously wait till that specific API request comes back, at which, at which point the messages are handled in order, and you'll know by implication you're done. So it's a, good, it's a good way of saying, I want for the purposes of my application to say, I know that this burst of junk I just sent is now all thoroughly processed. So the API test tool does that. And you'll see those two software interface uh, add Dell requests we, we did a second ago. Um, CLI requests, we don't actually capture the data because you kind of don't, you kind of don't, don't want to even bother with that. At any rate, um, so now why don't we quit out of this tool and um, restart VPP. Okay, again, I'm going to restart it, get it, get a clean slate. And if we say uh, VPP API, I test. Um, okay, I guess that means it's happy. Right. Notice, oh, son of a gun, the interface came back up. Wonder why, wonder why that was. Well, we just replayed that binary API trace verbatim. There are finer controls you can find in, in those APIs to replay uh, up to, you know, to replay one specific message from A to B. 
the reason for doing this is just because invariably my phone rings at 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm very sleepy. Somebody says, it's not passing traffic. I've been running this test for three days. And what it, what it boils down to is the control plane will have done something dumb. And you have to sort out what they did before it's not your problem anymore. So this mechanism is the only reason I still have my Cisco badge, is that you can trace, dump, replay, and turn into, and actually scriptify. Um, one thing you don't see is that messages need to have uh, custom pretty printers built for them and thrown into the, thrown into the data plane one way or another uh, in order for them to print in such a nice fashion. Otherwise, they're dumped in a kind of binary least, least common denominator fashion. And I've adjusted all of the message printers to the point where they don't, uh, you know, you're not seeing a lot of random junk in there. Uh, if you add a, if you add a message and forget about it, it'll just dump you know dump it in you know pretty reasonably readable hex. The thing being, it's not something that you want to go ask people to ever type. So I put script colon space in front of them so you can just grab and get all of the you know, sort of actionable stuff uh, easily. So if we were to actually do that, let's do that. Um, Let's just start ourselves another Emacs to make everyone annoyed. Um, XB. Oh, um, actually, why am I doing that? Um, okay. You know, I'm just going to I'm just going to uh, grab all this stuff, and I can show you actually how to fabricate. Uh, control C, Control V, and a Mac. There we go. Doink. Emacs and W. Food. All right, and then, you know, it's a pretty obvious, it's so regular that you just in Emacs use meta x kill rectangle, which causes it all to go away. Well, that's not interesting, nor is any of that, nor is that. And, you know, here's the little script you want, which actually will do over again um, what we just said. And, of course, the API test tool is pretty good for um, maybe test in food out script. And you'll see, okay, now we're back, exact show, um, int, and it will have replayed the thing again. Um, one, one other thing to say is that for true scripting, where you just want to pulse some stuff in and then immediately exit, um, you do the following, uh, VP, API, well, actually, I can do that in... Yeah. And you'll see that it's, uh, it, it exits instantly. Now let's go back into the test tool and go do our standard ENC. Show and, and you'll see the interface is up, not actually passing any traffic in there. And you'll see there we go. So there's a pretty detailed debug CLI document, which will tell you everything you want to know about what the debug CLI can do on the wiki. I encourage people to look at it for just putzing around. Uh, the, I, to my eye, the debug CLI feels like an easier solution. Uh, the VP API test uh, and the binary APIs are really what you want the control planes doing um, start to finish. So let's see, where are we now? Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Right, um, that's not the right editor. Let's go find the, uh, the other right editor. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So Cisco guys who played with this stuff a bunch, have I left out anything obvious in the, you know, debug CLI VP API test uh, tire kicking? Or is, is, is that pretty reasonable? Okay. So why don't we take about a half a second break while Dave Wallace swaps in to do um, some talking about... Oh. Oh.